10 things you should never order from a barbecue restaurant. Hello pretty fellows and welcome to another interesting video from your favorite channel. He hopes you all must possess sound health and want something good to watch. We heard you and so we're here to entertain you. This video can be a life changer for you all we bet. How many of you love barbecue? And how often do you visit or order from a barbecue restaurant? How would you respond if I told you that there are some do's and don'ts of ordering from a barbecue restaurant? Yes, this entire video is about 10 things you should never order from a barbecue restaurant. I would love your responses in the comments below. So without further ado, let's dig into the video. Number 1. Fusion Dishes Barbecue is one of the best cuisines for almost everyone. And a big part of barbecue is fusion dishes. The mix and match of different dishes create that fusion and instantly create a new dish. Grilled pork, mac and cheese, smoked turkey quesadillas, ham grilled, got that water in your mouth, but what if you should not order any of these or even any fusion dish from any barbecue restaurant? We agree that fusion dishes are tastier than most other options, but do you know that the meat they use isn't fresh? Can you guarantee their taste? Can you bear with leftovers used in your dish? These are all the possibilities you can witness if you order any fusion dish from a local or even renowned barbecue restaurant. Don't ever order them as the main course. There are two answers to your why. First, if it's not good in taste, you have to deal with it no matter what. Second, if it's from the leftovers, you might get ill. And then you'd be left over with a doctor's prescription in hand, my friend. You can simply avoid ordering any fusion dish. Or if you really want to have it, order it as a side dish or in a small portion. Get your hands on the better options for the main course, so you won't return home unsatisfied with an empty pocket. Try to completely avoid them if you're new to a barbecue restaurant. Number 2. Anything at the end of the day If you've ever come across any barbecue restaurants in the early day hours, you might have seen long lines of people waiting for their orders. I'm sure you must have gotten this question in your mind, what are they doing here in such an early hour? And if you're a barbecue lover, you must know the answers. It's just like first come first serve. You'll choose from a greater variety of options and freshly cooked food in the early day hours. If you're late and it's almost the end of their service hours, you'll have to choose from what's left behind. And it might be possible that the food won't be as fresh as you wished it would be. Most of the leftovers at the day end up to wind up as soon as possible. If you're going to have anything, do it to make it to the barbecue restaurant in early hours or else you'll be served with leftovers. And sometimes, the meat can taste sour because it's being cooked for an entire day. Number 3. Barbecue Sauce When in Texas Barbecue sauces have their specialty in almost all of the country. They're based on the regions and might taste different everywhere. Different places use different ingredients to make their sauce better than the others, so they're all unique in that style. But have you ever wondered why asking for barbecue sauce at a barbecue restaurant can be offensive to the pitmaster? Yes, there's no lie in saying that in Texas, you cannot ask for barbecue sauce, as it's considered disrespectful. According to the pitmasters in Texas, if they have done their job right, the grilled meat would be perfect without any sauce or condiments by its side, and the taste of that ideal smoked meat would fade away. It's interesting. Well, you guys tell us, do you like your barbecue with barbecue sauce or without it? And remember, don't ever ask for barbecue sauce at any barbecue spot in Texas or you'll be kicked out of the restaurant without barbecue sauce or even barbecue. Number 4. Wrong Regional Specialty Barbecue has been pretty common in all the regions of the US, and every part has its specialty. Trying out the wrong regional specialty must fall out for you if you're in Texas. Do go for the brisket, as it's considered the specialty of Texas. Every region and state offers a different thing, and it would not be wrong to say that one thing for you to find finger licking and the most popular in one part might not be as suitable as in another area. This is called different methods of cooking the same thing. You might not like ribs in Texas, but you'll find them finger licking good in St. Louis. And that's the same with every particular region and its specialty if you're a tourist or like to visit different places to try out their specialty rather than hoping on other dishes. Number 5. Heavy Sides Are you filling the entire plate with sides and getting complete with just the sides? If this is true, then you are a fool. And if you're still doing this, you gotta stop. You should always order sides in small proportions, as the more sides would be, the more you'll munch on them, and in the end, you'll be so full to experience the actual thing you went to a barbecue restaurant for. So before getting full on the sides, just remember you're there for the meat, and give that meat a chance to find room in your stomach. Number 6. Green Beans or Vegetables if you think veggies or green beans as a side dish with fully buttered bacon, ribs, and briskets will balance your calories, you just repeat it and find out what a joke you just passed. 
Well, you should never order them or beans at a barbecue, as it's not best suited for a barbecue joint to serve. Most of them don't even serve veggies as part of their menu because it's not easy to get the stuff delivered there. If you go to a barbecue spot for meat, just have every bit of it escaping every green and bean. It's just fine for a day. Just accept the truth that you're going to get high on meat. <laughs> Before moving forward, subscribe to our channel and press that bell icon to get the notification of freshly brewed content from our channel. Number 7. Hamburgers Once again, reminding you what you're doing at a barbecue spot. You are there mainly for the meat and not any other thing. It's definitely not a big task for a pitmaster to make you a hamburger or any other dish. But do you think a hamburger is the specialty of a barbecue spot? Definitely not. That menu card in front of you must have better options from which you can choose your dinner any day. And you can obviously have hamburgers at any other day with the restaurants offering better taste and experience. Go for the thing that you particularly only want from a place like if you're at a barbecue spot, then just go for the meat. It can be grilled bacon or smoked brisket or delicious ribs. So yeah, you better go for meat. Number 8. Pre-sliced meat have you ever experienced walking into a barbecue spot and seeing a basket full of pre-sliced meat the staff is serving to customers? And if yes, have you ever tried that pre-sliced meat? The sad truth behind the free sliced meat is that the staff do so to increase efficiency, but what they forget in all that efficiency is the quality and taste. As per the etiquette, the meat should be sliced right in front of you. The flavor and moisture fade when the meat is pre-sliced. You don't know for how long it's been sliced. Avoid having that meat sliced, even if the staff insists. Number 9. Bread Bread in most parts of the US is offered for free as a garnishing element with the barbecue, and choose you generally don't have to order it. Still, there are people, or psychos, who want everything to add on just to pack stuff and get home. In all this, what they forget is the purpose of going there. They get excited about the freebies, and they forget about the purpose. You should try avoiding bread or any ad that they're not necessary to go with the barbecue. Just enjoy the vibe and the meat there to fulfill your cravings. Number 10. Additional Toppings Just like bread, people like to have additional topping sauces and tips on the table even if they're unnecessary. This is pretty simple to realize that the staff has summed to you with every essential topping that would go with your meat, so if you're asking for additional tips or toppings, you're just being a fool and nothing else. Try to be gentle towards the staff and ask for all the necessary things, not more because they have many people to serve. So that's it for today, folks. We hope you enjoy the video, and you tell us in the comments section what toppings you would like with your barbecue and which barbecue joint is your favorite in the US. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. We'll be right back in a while with another new video. Till then, keep on loving. Bye-bye.